Hello, welcome to Dave's Skillet. Today, ciabatta bread. It's a real easy, simple recipe. So I will cover it. It's going to be um, three and a half cups of uh, white flour. There's one. I do it this way so you can see those little tiny balls in the screen, I think. We don't want that in the mix. That wouldn't be good. So that's why you sift the flour. Here's two. And there's three, three white. Got to do a half a cup of white next. Because we're going to add a half a cup of wheat. Get the wheat flour. Yeah. That's in the fridge. Keep the uh, wheat flour in the fridge so it doesn't go rancid. Because it can apparently. Just do that. So I keep it in the fridge to protect it from going off on me. <coughs> Half a cup. And that goes in the mix. Now I gotta add one packet of yeast. This is the fast rising kind. And I need some salt. Two teaspoons of salt. I'm gonna use kosher. I like kosher. I think it's best. Try to make everything level because this is really a precise measurement going on for making bread. You don't want to not put enough, and you don't want to put too much. Okay, now, you got to whip this all up, get it all mixed up and blended. I'm going to add one cup of water and stir it up. Okay. 
got to be uh, tempered water, so I'm going to give it about a minute in the microwave. And when you put the water in, you got to make sure it's just a tweak over what the line looks like. So you get the exact amount that you need. In one minute, we'll put that in there. going to go in the oven at uh, 400 degrees for about 18 minutes but first it's got to rise and to do that I've got to let it set overnight it calls for 18 hours on the recipe but you can get away with 12 easy enough <clears throat> if you're in a hurry you could probably push it to 8 but I wouldn't go much more than that You don't want it to be too hot because if it gets too hot, the water will kill the yeast. Ooh, that's too hot. <laughs> so we'll let that cool down and we'll be back. Perhaps 45 seconds would have been better than a minute. So, the first part of this rising is complete this is some spray butter I'm going to use because it's fast and it works okay I'm going to coat it with some flour and some breadcrumbs seasoned breadcrumbs <clears throat> because we don't want it to stick to the pan when it's done. Not much. We don't need much. Just a drop. Now, we take this off. You see it has risen a bit. No longer a ball. So we got to get the air out of it. Just poke it down a bit. That should do. It's still sticky. That's good. That's what we need. In it goes. Okay. Try to get it spread into this bread mold. Poke some of the air out of it. It's going to rise again, and then in the morning we bake. It's going to uh, put a bit of flour on top, just a wee bit. And some breadcrumbs. You could put seeds on it if you wanted. You could put anything really. There we go. 
even sesame, caraway, anything you got. You can even put some Italian seasoning on top of it. It's ciabatta. You can make it any way you like it. Okay. Let me cycle this tin foil and plastic wrap. <laughs> Try to recycle it. Yep. Wasn't sure if that was going to fit there for a second. But it looks like it will. Okay. wake up in the morning this thing will be ready to go right into the oven of course you take off the top you don't leave the tin foil or plastic wrap on it take that off of it and it'll go right in so we'll just leave it right there until morning we will see you tomorrow in about two seconds Good morning. Split second later. Okay, we're going to preheat the oven to 425. It's going to go in there for 35 minutes. 30 to 35 minutes. Keep an eye on it. It's risen overnight. I suppose you could do it in just a few hours, but it's best to let it rise overnight. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm, it is ready. It is ready. It smells great. It will rise a little bit more once I put it in the oven. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, that smells so nice. Yeah. Now we put it in the oven here. few minutes for the oven to get up and be right back. Can't put it in the cold oven. Okay, it's time to put this in the oven and set the timer. 35 minutes. And we'll be back. So that's the bread cooled down sufficiently. I suppose we can cut a slice off of it. See what we got. Cutting board. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. Oh yeah. You gotta get the aluminum foil off of there. There we go. Whenever you wanna eat the aluminum. All right, now. I put some bread on it. Some bread on it? <laughs> I put some butter on the bread. I'm talking backwards. Pay no mind to that. Okay. <laughs> I'll put some bread on it. Oh my God. Okay, you know what's early morning for me now. Wow. 
Let's see if I find a knife. There we go. I got a feeling it's going to taste real good. I don't know. Hey, I might have made a food bar. I don't know. Hmm. What do you hear that crunch? Hmm. That's the end bit. Hmm. So good. Oh. I hope you make it. Leave your comments below. I'll set it up there to cool down a bit more because it is pretty hot. And have a good day, my friends.